Um, all right, so what we have is we have two vectors. We have the vector u comma 1 and the vector v 1 comma 3. And what they're asking us is to add them. So if you remember um, per our notes when addition is simply just going to be adding your first x with the, the y, just kind of um, adding two points. So u plus v, if we could say, um, I'll just write it in here. That's just going to equal 2 plus 1 comma 1 plus 3. Okay, so you just add the, um, the x-coordinate of that vector with that y-coordinate of the vector together. So therefore, my resultant vector is 3, 4. But we also want to be able to show what exactly is those graphs, um, what do those um, look like on a graph. So remember, these are in component form. So therefore, component form has an initial point at 0, 0. And then these are going to be your endpoints, right, or terminal point. So I have 2, 1. Let's do bigger since we. So I go over 2, 1. So that's what vector u looks like, right? It has an arrow with a point at the end. It's directed, and it has an initial and a terminal point. Then we do v, which is 1 up 3. OK? So if we want to be able to find the resultant vector, the way that we showed this graphically is to be able to do our head to tail method. It doesn't matter which one you want to do head to tail, but we can simply take v and place it at the end of u. Or you can take u and place it at the end of v. Okay? So I'll show this in both ways, and you guys will be able to see the resultant vector. Notice v is 1, 3. So if I go to using the head to tail method, I'll go over 1 and then up 3. One, Three. So therefore, v would look like that. Okay. If I was going to do u, that means I'm going to go up one, over over uh, three. So up one, one, two, three. Oh, over two. Oh, that's over one. I guess that's not really graph correct. It's not pushed all the way, but yeah, that should be over at 1. Okay, So then be up 1, over 2. Then at the end, you can see where both these resultant vectors end up, which I'll draw my resultant vector with a green. Okay, And you can see that this one is at 1, 2, 3, up 1, 2, 3, 4. So my resultant vector um, is u plus v. Yes, Harry? No, that's what I'm going to be asking you, showing you graph, how do you get to that. So I'm going to want to see the sum, the head to tail of both vectors. Yes? No, you don't need, to, don't need to do the parallelogram. You can just show one head to tail. Okay. Yes? 27. Yes? Were you adding the 2 plus 1 from u, or were you adding the x coordinates from u and v? Yeah, I can see how that would be. 